Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Emerald Ray Allen, who's going to be an absolute sharpshooter in my team, just like guys like Kyle Korver and Mike Miller, Mitch Richmond, cards like that that are mainly just shooters and don't do a ton else on the court. That's what you're going to get out of Ray Allen. It's going to be an elite shooting shooting guard who doesn't do a lot else right now, but still it's going to be a good budget card, especially for those y'all. I mean, a great offline card as well for completing agendas that are three-point agendas and things like that, uh, scoring agendas. A card like Ray Allen can be really, really useful. So before we out the video, if you haven't already, make you hit that subscribe button to help me push towards the 13,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I say push towards, but we're literally one subscriber away. Basically, help me push towards the 14,000 subscriber mark on the channel because we're about to hit 13K. We're literally at 12,999 right now. So really excited about that. Appreciate all the support on the channel. Uh, I unfortunately did not upload yesterday. I do apologize. Had a family emergency. Um, things are going to be okay with that, but it was super stressful and it was just a long couple days. Regardless, was not able to upload yesterday, but that is okay. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's see what Ray Ray is looking like. So 6'5", 84 offense. 69 defense he's gonna play no defense but what he will do is shoot the crap out of the ball 82 mid-range 93 ball not gonna dunk not a great ball handler horrific defender slow and bad lateral quickness he's basically just like Kyle Korver and Mike Miller in a lot of ways to be honest Kyle Korver is probably the best of the three but he's very similar to that type of card so six goals three silvers five bronzes you got a uh, catch and shoot comeback kid corner specialist screen machine guard up and free points silver blinders claymore and slippery off ball bronze dead eye limitless range midi magician needle threader and spot finder so Overall, some really, really nice shooting badges mainly on this card. Now, let's see what Ray's release is looking like is honestly what I'm kind of excited to see because generally Ray Allen has an amazing release in 2K. I assume this year his release is elite as well, but I have not shot with a Ray Allen card yet this year, so I don't know for sure. And yes, it's the same amazing release as it always is, which is exactly what I expected it to be. It's a butter, fast, smooth, easy release. One of the easier releases in the game to green. It's going to be super easy to get time and super easy to get off consistently as well. He's not going to do anything else besides that. I mean, he can technically dunk, but he's never going to really dunk in game with 63 ball and 40 or with a 40 driving dunk and a 60 speed or whatever. He's never really going to dunk the ball. But you know what he is going to do? Shoot the crap out of it. Is he going to defend? No, but he's going to shoot the crap out of it again. So is this card going to be available against an elite level competitive player with a top tier God squad? No, because he's too slow and he's not a good enough defender. Is he going to be viable in clutch time online, triple thought online if you need to get three balls up and you need to complete a three point shooting agenda? Is he going to be amazing in offline? Is he really good for a day one player as somebody who can shoot the ball at a super high level he certainly is and i think he's basically the budget kyle Corver in my team so let's hop into a game let's see what ray allen can do all right iso wizard oh that's great he's playing with kyle Corver. that's funny okay so kyle Corver versus ray allen i told y'all he's a budget kyle Corver. we play against kyle Corver. that's because they're both such threats as shooter they're gonna have a ton of gravity on the court that's a fun matchup here dude's got a good squad ad tom googly out at the four i got a little bit better team but not a crazy amount i mean pretty fair matchup across the board and uh, i'm excited to hop into it and see what we can do hitting uh, ray allen on the slip actually i was not planning on hitting the slip he gets blocked from behind by kyle Corver, who by the way also plays no defense but is uh, maybe a little bit more versatile defensively than Ray Allen. Good defense here, straight up. We're not, we're fine on this. Uh, is he gonna really try to, he's got like four dudes in the paint right now. This spacing is atrocious. Get through that screen. We're rotating over. We're, that's a great floater. That's actually a really, really nice floater. Um, did not knock it down, but that was a pretty creative shot. I was, did he just foul me in the fast break? I was about to hit to Ray Allen for an open um, front fade or side fade as well. That's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Um, I did not shoot Ray Allen's fade in freestyle. That's my fault. I should have definitely tried that out. See if I can know what fade he has, because now I don't exactly know what to expect in terms of timing it or whatever. But uh, throw it over here. Uh, get it over to back back to Kyrie. My icons are not doing great right now, which is a pretty consistent theme with this game. The things just don't work. But burst in here, hitting it out to Ray. Ray, catch and shoot. Ray Allen, no way I miss I shot a slightly late. No way I don't green my first shot. We hit that three regardless. He's an elite shooter. We hit the white. I got to green that. That's kind of bad that I missed that, but it is what it is. Good defense here. Help off a pip with Pippen. Um, rotate a little bit. Now get back up top. That's a tough shot. We're good. We're helping out the corner. Yo, jump. Sean Kemp. Ooh, 33% contest goes in. It's a little sketchy, little sketchy. We were almost there right there. Pushing the ball up the court here with Kyrie. Kyrie might just be able to go all the way. Hit it over to Googs. Googs to AD. Ah, just needed, not Googs. I'm sorry. He's being guarded by Googs. Uh, but Kemp, I honestly had him there, I think. So uh, maybe I shoot that with Gugliotta, but I mean with uh, Kemp. But why do I keep thinking Kemp is Googs? They look nothing alike. They're just both athletic fours who could shoot, who can uh, dunk really well. Pull up, mid range. Ray, yo, that's just not a very good pull up animation there. Uh, I needed a quicker pull up. I think his pull up going right is better than that. Uh, but jump. No, dude, don't give him a foul there. 
And not an amazing offensive start to this game. I'm going to be honest. Just uh, That pull at mid-range was not a terrible shot, but we just really haven't gotten anything going too much yet. You have to create shots with a guy like Ray Allen, so doing a gameplay with this type of card is a little bit challenging because they're going to do absolutely no playmaking. 60 speed, no playmaking badges. Uh, he's not going to do any sort of playmaking himself, so I have to remember that for sure when it comes to doing this gameplay. But... Um, I don't know. It makes it tough to get open shots if they're not leaving him at times. So if that makes sense, that makes it a little bit tougher. But we're going to see if we can get like a fade here. Ray fading. That's not a terrible shot, but I just did not time it well at all. Uh, let's fade this way this time. And there we go. Ray Allen greens the fade. Is that normal fade? Actually, that was really nice. We green that fade. Beautiful shot for Ray Allen. And there we go. Now we have ourselves six points in the game with him. Obviously, uh, not going to be the most efficient performance in the world, probably, but I got to shoot a lot of questionable shots with Ray Allen, honestly, to get open shots with him, considering he's a 60. He's got, a, he's got that 60 speed. And that's obviously, he's not really a shot creator. He's a guy who is going to make you pay standing in the corner or at the hash wide open for three, like, or, or creating, like, he's not really creating an open shot. Um, hit it to Ray again, though. Why are you rotating towards Googs? I don't understand why he would do that, but there we go. Fading again. Ray Allen, and I shot a late that time. I felt it, too. That's bad. Uh, Pippen dotted to the corner. Great pass to Scotty Pippen. That was a smart decision there, because Gray was guarded. Pippen was not... We'll take our assist, six points and one assist for Ray Allen. There we go. It's playmaking. It's passing, but it still technically counts as playmaking. So we're good here. We recover back. We're back with Kyrie. Kyrie, help over. Help with Ray. Beautiful. Now we can test. Straight up. Yo. Oh. Okay, good. Now push the ball. Throw it up to Sean Kemp. Why is Ray Allen the cutter, bro? Let him be the shooter. Catch, shoot for three. No way I am missing with Ray Allen. <laughs> I promise y'all it's a me problem. I'm not going to lie. That's embarrassing. But he does make both whites, which is realistic, I guess. I mean, I got a gr the only shot I've greened is the tough fade. And then I missed the wide open fade. I missed the uh, two other wide open threes, but they go in. I just, I got to green my shots, but he's still got nine points and an assist. He's affected every shot, every point that we scored this game. So not opposed to the way he's played at all. That's good defense. And that's going to be a block for Anthony Davis. AD swinging it up to Ray Allen. Ray Allen pump fake. Come this way. I think we're just going to dump it down because he's starting to get, oh, if Need you to cut a little bit better there for me. Uh, he's going to start to pay a lot of attention to Ray Allen. So we're going to get ourselves that. There we go. That's called gravity right there. He's playing super high on Ray Allen. We got ourselves the dump down. That got ourselves the assist. And now Ray has takeover. Now he's really a threat because I can pull anything fading with him. And it's pretty much going to be great if I'm open and if I'm not a bot. Uh, this is what get, when it gets really scary with these sharpshooters this year is when you get open with these cards, they get really dangerous when they get takeover. Uh, that's my bad. And that's a good shot. Kyle Korver, speak of the devil strap himself definitely a, honestly a better release than ray but that's my fault for turning the ball over more than anything else uh we're gonna go pick and pop with ray see if we can get him the, to catch the ball in a good position if we can catch the ball in a good position now we can potentially move uh now we go here we run and we fade and ray allen should hit that no way damn bro that's a terrible miss by me i can't even blame anything but myself that's that's a really bad miss and then he curry slides me with kyle corver good look man Good D. Yo, boy. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Okay, we're good. I really wish Ray Allen was shooting the free throws, but Kyrie is a great free throw shooter as well. That's totally my fault. I'm telling y'all, man, missing too many easy shots. That's just my bad, man. This card, though, if you get takeover on a card like this, oof. When we get later in the year and everybody has 99 speed, 99 three ball, 99 limitless, like when we get to goat cards and stuff like that later this year, or even like the really, really good Dark Matters that can pretty much do everything, it's going to get really, really hard to get stops at times, potentially, when cards get takeover and stuff. So I don't know, because this Ray Allen, this Kyle Korver, cards like this are so dangerous with such low speed ratings and no defensive ability and stuff like that. When we get cards like this that can do more, Good luck. I missed that too. How is that a 48? Whatever. Good performance by Ray Allen. Efficiency is not going to be there, but nine points, two assists, three and nine, three, seven, three. Like I said, the efficiency is not there, but you see the threat. I just got to be better to a certain extent. And also he's an emerald. He's just a shooter. So tie back to the main menu. Let's view the card. All right. In conclusion, Ray Allen, I mean, solid card. Very, very good shooter. He's budget Kyle Korver. That's what he is. Is he an elite level card? No. Is he an amazing shooter? Great offline card. Great card for a day one player. 100%. Very solid budget shooting guard. Absolutely elite shooter. Not going to do a lot else on the court, but he is one of the better shooters in the game. So hopefully y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.